My name is Sonia. This is Sonia with an I. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today I'm going to do a uh, picture book read aloud. Uh, I have chosen one of my favorite books that I always used to read it to my classroom around library week or uh, read across America, anything that had to do with reading. And since this week is National Library Week, I thought, wow, this is a good book for this one. Um, I just want to say thank you very much to all the librarians and library staff who provide books to people so we can keep literacy alive. So thank you very much. The book I'd like to share with you is called Hog Eye by Susan Middaw. Now, this book is all about the lesson of why it is important to know how to read. So let's go. Hog Eye by Susan Middaw. Yesterday, my whole family met me at the door. They wanted to know why I didn't go to school. So I told them the true story. It's not my fault. It's school bus 37. The kids are terrible. And my big brother, who's supposed to help me, he's the worst of all. I wish I had a magic spell to make them all disappear. I didn't like school bus 37. So yesterday, I took my time getting to the corner. And when I got to the bus, the other kids were gone. Oh, my wish came true. Then I realized I was on the wrong bus. You did not pay attention. At first, I was a little worried. Maybe this bus is going a different way to school, I thought. But the bus drove right past the school, and soon it was getting further and further away from anything that I had recognized. So I went to the bus driver, and I calmly told him I needed to get off. Stop the bus! The bus driver let me off to the, on the side of the road. I had no idea where I was. Furthermore, there was a sign, and you know, I'm a good reader. I'll follow the road. It will take a long time to go home, but I followed the path through the forest. I would follow the path through the forest so I could be home before dark. Oh, many, many times have we told you to never take paths through the forest. Many, many times, say the parents. I decided to take the path. What? What? You did not decide to take the path. What? What? Is she crazy? She never listens. Time and time again, when we tell her to not to do things, and she does them anyway. It's just, it's outrageous. It's dangerous. What does one do? She goes into the forest all alone. The parents are not happy about this. No sooner than I entered the forest when a wolf grabbed me and threw me in a sack. Mama, help me, Wolf says. Soup's on. I was scared, but I was cool. I bet, says the brother. When we got to the terrible gloomy cave, the wolf took a big pot and put it on the stove. He was singing a song about the soup. Pot, pig in the water, water in the pot, soup in the wolf when the water gets hot. <sighs> Stalling for time, I said. This is not how my mommy makes soup. She goes out and gets lots of fresh ingredients. And her soup is the best. It's not, said the wolf. My mommy made the best soup. I'll just get her cookbook and you'll see. The wolf grabbed a book from the dusty shelf. There, he said, you find my mommy's recipe for soup and read it to me. Our daughter is helping a wolf to make soup, says the, says the father. That was when I realized something very interesting. It's too bad you can't read, I said. What? said the wolf. Of course I read. I just don't want to read today. You read. So I said, the first ingredients are carrots and potatoes from Mr. Gray's garden. The wolf 
tied me to a table leg and ran off to find Mr. Gray's garden. Did you tell him about the traps? I'm going to guess she didn't. This was my chance. While he was gone, I tried to untie the rope, but the knot was way too tight. And soon the wolf was back. What's next? He added crankily. Sweet onions, I told him. And green peppers from the bat from a lot of Devil's Cliff. Ah, clunk. As soon as he left, I tried to chew through the rope, but again the wolf returned before I could escape. So I gave him another ingredient, pure water from Torrential Falls. Are you sure it says Torrential Falls? Looks like it. See for yourself. The wolf jumped off with a bucket. Yeah! I was working on my third escape plan when the wolf staggered through the door with a bucket of water. Enough, he said. I'm hungry. I said to the wolf, there's only one more ingredient, but it's the most important ingredient of all. Without this ingredient, your soup will taste like spit. I drew the wolf a picture so he would be able to be sure to get the right plant. This is green three leaf. I gave the wolf precise instructions. Find a large patch of it because the more you get, the better the soup. Crush the leaves. The easiest way to crush the leaves is to roll around in them. Gather the juiciest leaves and vines and put them inside your shirt and keep them warm. The wolf did exactly as he was told. How lucky, green three leaf everywhere green three leaf piggy i'm home but when he got back he said time to make the soup i could tell he meant it <gasps> what happened next that was when i cast my magic spell on him wolf i said you have brought me the final ingredient for my magic potion Prepare to fill the power of the hog eye. Ha ha, laughed the wolf. That's a good one. He picked up a match. I opened my eyes as wide as I could and I fixed him with a mighty stare. Careful when you light that match. You will then start to scratch. The wolf lit the match. Hog eye, hog eye, magic stare. Make him itchy everywhere, on his nose and in his hair, even in his underwear. At first, nothing happened. The wolf lit a fire under the pot. He put the carrots, onions, green peppers, and potatoes into the pot. He was reaching for me when he stopped to scratch one little itch. One scratch led to another scratch and led to another scratch. And the more he itched, the more he scratched, and the more he scratched, the more he itched. Until finally he cried, stop, stop the whole guy. I'll do anything you ask. Please make it stop. I told him that I would release the spell after he let me go. And I demand demanded a nice apology. Hmm, said my father. Ah, said my mother. My baby brother said, I feel itchy. And the wolf said, that pig did not tell the truth. She didn't release the spell, never trust a pig. Today, I beat my brother to the corner to get on the bus. And she's now telling a whopper. <laughs> This is such a fun story. When you read this to kids, first of all, anytime you say underwear in a story, kids are going to crack up. But when you, you start to see their little brains start to think about maybe he doesn't know how to read. Anyway, I thought that I would share this. This is one of my favorites. Thank you so much for 
stopping by my channel for listening to my book. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. Please feel free to share this. If you're a teacher, share it with your classroom or um, if you have children yourself or even if you just enjoy a good listen, please feel free to share. If no one has told you today how much what a difference you make just by being in the world you should sure do thank you so much for being here i'll see you next time goodbye happy reading